Hello everyone and welcome to Word Wednesday. I'm Jaja and you're watching Jaja Live. Today we're concluding our living sacrifice discussion. All this month we've asked not what God can do for us, but what can we do for God? Offering our bodies as a living sacrifice is our reasonable service, but it's also the ultimate proof that we have indeed given up our will and taken on the will of God. Any sacrifice requires an act of unselfishness or a spirit of selflessness. Acts chapter 20 verse 24 puts it simply. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Last week, we discussed how God created us for a divine purpose and how he instructs us to use our gifts and talents to his glory. But our work doesn't stop there because God commands us to glorify him in all that we do. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. When we think about what we can do for God, it's important that we focus on the big picture. Jesus died on the cross for the sins of humanity, and the only way to salvation is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Our divine purpose here on earth as followers of Christ is to share this message of gospel truth. In John chapter 15 verse 8, Jesus tells us, this is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Our practice of selflessness in obeying God's commands is our reasonable service. It's offering our bodies as a living sacrifice. But keep in mind, we shouldn't think of our sacrifice as a burden. On the contrary, we should be honored and thankful. Remember that as followers of Christ, we are strangers here on earth. This is not our permanent home. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 through 17. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. This is why God instructs us to focus on Him always, because He endures forever. And so shall we, as followers of Christ, in Him. God reminds us of this very fact in Luke chapter 9, verse 24. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life, for me, will save it. Thank you for joining me for our Living Sacrifice finale here on Word Wednesday. It is my prayer that we always make focusing on God our first priority as we live to answer God's call to fulfill our divine purpose. 
I'm Jaja, and this has been Jaja Live. And I'll see you again next week as we kick off a new topic of discussion for the month of March. God bless. cold or hot in our deeds. Lukewarm? Uh -uh, he's, he's not pleased. pleased. Never hot in the flesh, but hot in the spirit. We cannot be in between. So if we say we want to live for Christ, we got to be willing to make the sacrifice. We got to put on the full armor of God. 